Hello and good morning. I hope you're all doing very well on this grey, grey day that is supposed to be a little bit nicer this afternoon in London anyway. Uh, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all safe and sound. Welcome back to another edition of On The Radar, your new daily transfer rumour show where I round up three names that are most likely to be either coming into Anfield or leaving Anfield. Uh, if you remember yesterday, we spoke about Joel Matip going to Paris Good morning, Dinesh. It wouldn't be a good morning without saying that to you. How are you, mate? Yesterday, we spoke about Matip going to PSG, Kula Bali coming into Anfield, and Asai Mandi also coming into Anfield. It was almost like a centre-back special yesterday. Um, an update for you. The, the 9 million Mandi bid has been rejected. Morning to Tox the Freds. Okay, lad, how, how are you? Hard Code FC, good morning to you as well. So a little bit to update you from yesterday. The Mandy bid has been rejected. What do we think of that in the comments? Please let me know. Guys, if you are watching this, please like that video, comment to it as well. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the COP TV. But what do we think of this Mandy deal? I was actually playing with Real Betis last night. I can't lie, they're my new FIFA team. And uh, Mandy is the captain when uh, I think it's Guadalajara isn't playing. And I'm not just going to base what I think about him on FIFA, but he's a good, good player. Um, he is 28. Uh, I think he's slightly, uh, I mean, to be fair, when we brought in Clavan to be a uh, you know, fourth, fifth choice centre-back, he was about 28, 29. Uh, I think he scored five goals in maybe 140 games for Betis. So he is a good player. Is he Liverpool level? Let me know in the comments. Should we go back with a second bid for Asai Mandy? As I said, the first bid has been rejected. But as you've seen in the uh, the thumbnail for this video, we're going to be speaking today about Jamal Lewis, Lassa Yurucci, and a little touch on Lloyd Kelly at the end as well. Dinner says, imagine if Bamiyan came to Liverpool, Klopp turns him around, tells him to come. Imagine if Bamiyan came to Liverpool, Klopp turns around, tell him to come to Liverpool, but Liverpool will not buy him. It could probably won't happen, actually, to be fair, Dinesh. So, right, let's talk, people, about Jamal Lewis. Now, as we all know, Liverpool are only prepared to spend £10 million on the Northern Irish International. He scored one goal this season. Um, Norwich are holding out for £20 million. So do we go in and pay the money uh, for Lewis at £20 million, or as a left-back cover, should we only really be spending £10 million? Again, let me know in the comments uh, what you think about Jamal Lewis. Obviously a very talented player, but is he going to be happy playing cover to uh, Andy Robertson? Hardcode FC says, I would take Vertonghen for free as he has the experience and, uh, sorry, let's, uh, and he can play left back as well. He's better than Gomez and still has a good three years left in him. I would disagree. I think Joe Gomez is a much better option at centre-back than a, than a 30-year-old Jan Vertonghen. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. But if we're if we're looking at this realistically, guys, we all know that we need a left back cover. That's no secret. Um, and Jamal Lewis would be a great option. But I think Norwich are playing the the game here where they're like, look, we know you want him. We'll give him to you, but you've got to pay us twenty mil. And at this stage, with everything that's happened over the summer, I don't think Liverpool would be prepared to spend that twenty million. Uh, but there are talks to make the deal happen a little bit easier that we would send Yasser LaRucci. Now, let's get a, a look at him. I mean, he has played some games this season. You guys are aware of the FA Cup game he played against uh, Everton, I think, when Jimmy Milner uh, actually came off injured after about six minutes. LaRucci came on uh, and we would be looking, potentially, to use LaRucci as a, as a shift in the deal uh, also, I'm hearing that Brentford and Leeds are also interested in LaRucci, uh, or he could go to Norwich to make this deal work. What would you like? Let me know in the comments. Uh, Dinesh says, media reports, he is happy to be a backup player. I mean, if I was 19 and I was, uh, I was an international, let's, let's have it right, he's a Northern Irish international, I don't know if I'd be happy playing backup to uh, this, this, you know, this player in Andy Robertson. When you're 19, you need to be playing as many games as possible. Um, if he does come in, you can probably expect him to play 10 to 15 games a season, which is a good amount. Um, but on the other hand, you think, who doesn't want to be a part of this Liverpool team or squad at the moment? You look at someone like uh, Lalana, who's been on the fringes now for two or three years, could have easily left two or three years ago, as could a Lovren. But why would you want to leave Liverpool now? We're picking up trophies like it's no man's business. 
Um, so let me know in the comments right now before we end the show. Like I said, this show, as much as it is daily, it will only be up to 10 minutes. So we've got a lot to get in during this 10 minutes. Ollie Long says, bring back Coutinho. Uh, Ollie Long is actually an Arsenal fan. So I think from what I'm hearing, uh, Coutinho is more likely to end up in North London, either Tottenham or Arsenal. Uh, I think Arsenal might even be closing in on a loan deal for Coutinho. How would we feel about that? Claudia T says, Lewis would be a great option but cannot see him wanting to be a backup to Andy. That's exactly my thoughts as well, Claudia. Uh, the problem with Gomez is that he makes mistakes in him. Look what happened to him with Watford and Tottenham Van Dijk. Always has to save and help him with his mistakes during games. I think that's a bit tough. I think that's a bit tough. I'm not going to agree with that one, hard code. Um, big fan of Joe Gomez and talks to threads. Says, you must be joking. Gomez will be a better defensive option without any problem. No disrespect to Vertonghen, get that kid from Norwich. He is young. So talks to Fred here is a big fan of getting in Jamal Lewis at left back. Gunners will not get Coutinho, says H Bomb Lord Gellies. Uh, big up to Ryan all the way from Jamaica. Good morning, bro. How are you? Thoughts on a little sitter cheating again? Well, listen, I've already made my thoughts very clear on what I think of Man City um, going into the new season in terms of being... Uh, well, escaping their two-year European ban. Uh, I don't even want to go into that right now. Um, so as I mentioned, Jamal Lewis, the left-back at Norwich, we can get a look at him here. Very athletic player, played well against Liverpool when we were at Carrow Road earlier on in the season. I think that was in January. Look, he's got everything it takes, we all know that, to be uh, a top player. But at 19-year-old, is he going to want to be a backup to Andy Robertson? And secondly... Uh, or oh, actually, yeah, there's three points here. Secondly, uh, would we want to pay 20 million for him? And thirdly, could we use this man in uh, in the deal to go to Norwich to help us out in getting him? We've all seen Larucci play at left back this season. Would we be happy for him to go? Let me know in the comments before we go. A quick shout on this man as well, Lloyd Kelly, uh, back in the end of July. Uh, a good friend of mine, Grizz, who you might know from uh from twitter he's, he's he's a big man on twitter grizz big liverpool fan he says that lloyd kelly was not pursued by liverpool even though we had scouted him extensively one of the major factors was we didn't think he was worth the fee bournemouth ended up paying for him it's fair to say that we were justified i mean lloyd kelly hasn't played that many games this season grizz also said that whether we go back in for him I don't know, and that he wouldn't personally. I mean, if we get Mandy, if we're looking at Koulibaly, in my opinion, there's no need to bring in a, a player like Lloyd Kelly, especially with Joe Gomez there as well. Um, some more comments coming in. Let's go signing him up, bro. That's what Ryan says. Um, hard code again says, I don't get Thiago. I don't get Thiago, then get Coutinho in on loan. Uh, talks to Fred saying, COVID prices, absolutely Hard code. If we don't get Thiago, we should get Coutinho on a loan with an option to buy. Now, that is one that I am a fan of. I'm not going to lie. If Coutinho is available on a, on, a, on a loan option for a year, I think we go for him, guys. Let me know what you think. A. Roshan says, I think we should bring back Groyich. To be honest, I think uh, Groyich is, is, is still a Liverpool player, or at least his parent club is Liverpool. I think he's still out at Hertha Berlin. But guys, as you now know, this show on the radar is going to be coming to you every single day or as close to every single day as possible. Tomorrow might be a bit of a tough one because I'm out all day. Uh, but Saturday and Sunday, I'll definitely be here. But let me know what names you want us to discuss and you want us to bring up in these on the radar chats. I know that Imal, uh, Ishmael Saar, the little brother of, uh, of Sadio Mane, is 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 on the table. I know we've 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 spoken about him throughout the uh, the window so far. But a reminder: every day, three names that I'm going to be mentioning with three pictures to accompany that. So, what names do you want me to mention tomorrow? What transfers have you been hearing about? What rumours do you know about that you could share with me so that we can discuss them in the open forum here? But like I said at the start of the video, guys, please like the video, comment to it. Let's get the views right up for on the radio. I'm trying to get a thousand views every single day for this show on the radar. Uh, Ryan quickly there just says, I don't want Coutinho back at Liverpool, bro. And A. Roshan says, bring back Coutinho. Uh, and talks the threads. How are you today, mate? He says, Mane's peep Saar. Absolutely. Mane's a big fan of Saar 
and he scored two goals against us, you have to remember, back in March. So I'd be a big fan of bringing in Saar. But listen, let's let's save the three names that we're going to speak about for Saturday. Uh, so let me know. And also remember, you can follow us on Instagram at the Cop TV uh, and send me names on there to discuss on the radar as well. So yeah, guys, thanks so much for viewing. Uh, really, you should be setting your alarms every day now, uh, 10, 15 to to be in the know when it comes to Liverpool transfers coming in and out of the club. Claudia T says, LeBron looks great in our new kit. I have to admit he does. What we should remember as well is LeBron James is a 6% minority stakeholder in Liverpool Football Club. I think he bought the the, uh, the 6% back in 2010-11 uh, and now it's worth about 40, 45 million. So great business from uh, from LeBron James. So guys, that's all for today. On the Radar is finished for another day. Like I said, uh, every day at 10.15 or as close to, we're going to be online talking about three names that are most likely to be coming in and out of Liverpool. Up the Reds, indeed. Thank you very much, my brother, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget, actually, next uh, Thursday, I'm going to be coming up to Anfield to film one of these outside the ground on Wednesday and Thursday. So I'm not just going to be in, in this living room every single day with this boring background. I am going to make an effort to be going up to Liverpool and speaking about the transfer rumours all the way up until October when the uh, window shuts. So uh, I'm going to have a nice change of background next week with the beautiful stadium of Anfield. In the background, Ryan, give it loads of hearts and hard code FC, you'll never walk alone. Much like you guys, you'll never walk alone as well. And I'll see you soon.